RAM pricing has gone crazy and super expensive. You've either experienced this firsthand or you've seen it in the news. In today's video, we'll be talking about why this is the case and how it will impact you. Okay, we have to understand that there are only three main manufacturers of RAM in the world and Micron is one of them. Micron just last week announced that they're gonna be shutting down their consumer brand of DDR production, which is Crucial. So Crucial is that brand that you see on the DDR sticks that also makes SSDs. Micron has decided to go all in with AI production. Why? Because AI production is more profitable for them and there's only so much of space they have to fabricate all RAM. So everything starts off with the silicon wafer and then it's made into these electronic components. What they've decided to do is go all in on AI. So naturally, what happens when you have a shortage of supply but the demand stays constant or increases while well, prices are going to go up? and people are proactively buying more RAM because they know the supply is only going to become more limited. That's why you've seen some prices of RAM going four, five, even six X on consumer and retail stores, forgetting about the secondhand market altogether. Okay, now that Micron is out of the picture, what about the other two main manufacturers of RAM, SK Hynix and Samsung? Well, unfortunately, OpenAI made an agreement with both those companies that those companies will be dedicating 40% of all production dedicated to their systems alone. So naturally, you're gonna be taking away the fabrication process for consumers from those companies as well, further reducing the available supply to the consumers in general. Okay, so what does this mean for you? Well, to be blunt, it means that pricing of RAM is only going to get worse and worse as the supply comes down. But we have to understand that it's not just DDR sticks that are affected. So not just things that go into the laptop and the desktop. RAM, especially consumer grade RAM, is found in all sorts of consumer electronics, mainly being cell phones, tablets, as well as video game consoles. And all of those electronics are going to be affected by this price, which is going to increase their production costs, which is going to be increased in price when they're sold to the consumer. Now, just as an example, Nintendo lost $14 billion on market cap due to the increase in RAM pricing in their production of Switch 2 consoles. And I can foresee this happening with a number of other consumer grade electronics. Another example of this would be Valve. Their upcoming console release is probably going to be affected and they may cancel this release altogether because RAM is getting so expensive. And it wouldn't make sense for them to release a product that's just simply this expensive to manufacture and then to sell to the consumer. Now, what's worse, a lot of manufacturers have announced that upcoming year of production in their laptops, they're going to be coming out with just the standard eight gigabytes of RAM and not the standard 16 that you typically have seen over the last couple of years. Even cell phone manufacturers are going to be reducing their RAM down to four gigabytes. So we are technically regressing as a society when it comes to the production of new electronics, which just sucks overall. Now you may be wondering, okay, if DDR5 RAM is getting this expensive, why don't I just resort to DDR4? Well, the first piece of news is that DDR4 production has essentially halted. The only thing that you have seen in markets is surplus inventory that hasn't completely been sold out or in the secondhand market. Now, as the demand for these older sticks goes up, the pricing is also gonna go up because there's such a limited supply. As a matter of fact, I want you to pause right now and check the pricing for DDR4 RAM, and it's probably just as absurd as DDR5. Now, the AI bubble is largely to blame for this. Now, I call it a bubble because some are speculating that this might just burst, and it's not gonna be as profitable as all these companies have invested so much money into them. There's just not gonna be a return on investment. Now, some people are saying that if the bubble were to burst, the RAM prices will go down. And while that may be correct, I have to say that a lot of these tech companies have dedicated and invested so much in AI. I'll take the S&P 500 market as an example where 30% of the companies are directly invested in the future of AI. If the AI bubble were to burst, I'm telling you right now, RAM pricings are going to be the last of your worries. You'll have a complete meltdown of markets globally. Okay, so all of this is simply bleak news. Is there any good news out of it and i have to say that there is some good news when it comes to the production of ram so micron actually has dedicated 10 billion dollars into expanding their production facilities so i would imagine that no company is stupid enough to just completely stop producing consumer ram because that is such a large market they're simply going into the ai space because it's more profitable so they've invested 10 billion dollars the issue with that is that the fabrication expansion 
is not expected to be completed by 2028. So you can expect the price of RAM continue to be extremely high and the supply continue to dwindle for at least the next two years. Okay, so where does this lead us into the future? Now, I've been thinking about this and I'm looking at two possible scenarios, one very bleak and one more optimistic. I'm gonna start with the bad news first. Bad news is that AI progresses to a point where a lot of the data that we consume and a lot of the data that we compute is done by AI and data servers and we're simply relying on cloud computing and then manufacturers simply don't produce the consumer grade electronics that we've been used to or at least on the trajectory that we've been used to. Everything will be in the hands of these large companies and their data centers and we pretty much log in through a terminal um, through the internet to access our apps and do all of our computing. Now, the more optimistic side of me is saying that AI is simply not at that point. I don't think that a lot of these AI companies will be able to generate the profits and return the investment that pretty much what has been invested in them by these giant companies like Microsoft and Google. And I think we will see a return to consumer grade electronics in the next two to three years. Now I can use video cards as an example where prices went crazy high and eventually normalized. So in 2013 to 2014, during the peak of cryptocurrency mining, and then again in 2019 to 2021, GPU prices went through the roof. And as mining got more difficult and people stopped doing it, the prices started to go back down because the production and the supply went back up. And I think the same thing is going to happen with RAM. Now, I can't predict the future. I don't have insider knowledge. This is just simply speculation, but I'd like to know what your thoughts on all this are. Are you planning on upgrading your RAM? Let me know what you end up deciding to do in the comments below. But unfortunately, this is not the greatest of situations for tech enthusiasts or just regular tech consumers because we are being priced out. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.